Okay. So basically, we're going to do this with GarageBand. iTunes won't do exactly what you want it to do. You would be able to listen to the playlist. Just double click. I just double click new project. Um, but on iTunes, you'd be able to overlap the songs and listen to the playlist on the computer, but then you wouldn't be able to do that on the phone. It would then just play the songs as usual. So we're going to make it just click the X on that. To get rid of this, you hit Command and then Delete, holding Command down and then hitting pressing Delete. It should automatically be linked with your iTunes. So down in this corner, you're going to hit the music note. And your iTunes should come up. This is going to end up saving it as one really long song. If you wanted to be able to skip tracks, yeah, then I guess you could save them as one or as two or three tracks at a time. But if you're okay with it just being one long track, this is the best way that I can figure out how to do it as of right now. So all of this is obviously the music. So you want to scroll down to where the song ends. Okay, so all of this part is no music. So then you take your new song, just click and drag. Can really drop it off forever because you're going to end up moving it anyways. So I'm just going to click on it and hold down on it. Hold down the mouse or when you click it and adjust it to wherever you want this song to start after this one ended. So it then should just play right into each other. You hear that annoying clicking? That's this. You can turn it off. And then you won't hear that anymore. Okay. So you would just continue to do the same thing. Scroll all the way down towards the end of this song. And then add in a new song. The song you can tell ended about there. Where this last note is. So you would click on it and hold. And then place it where you want it. So after you make your playlist, you're going to go to share right here. Send songs or send song to iTunes. Now with iTunes, um, if you if this seems to be a problem, there is a way to do it in iTunes. 
um, you would basically make the playlist and then set the overlap to where you want it um, within seconds or however and then burn a CD with it like that and then add the CD or download the CD back onto the computer and then add that to your phone and basically there would still be a slight gap in between songs but it would be less of a gap than it was before so really this is the best way to do it it's just a little more time consuming but you'd probably be more happier with the outcome this way Okay. So now I added it into your playlist. So I'm sure you've added playlists to your phone before. And apparently I'm not synced to this iTunes and I don't want to lose all of my music. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you've done this before, so I'm sure you know how to do it. If not, let me know um, and hopefully I can help you out with that. Figure out which computer I am linked up to. And uh, that's it.